this is Alokthon Plays, and the sixth visage, Eos visage, just unlocked on PS4. I'm not quite sure why it took many, many more hours on PS4 than it did on PC and Xbox One. It's usually fastest on PS4, but I think they changed the counting method a little bit. But anyway, this is the new head, and it looks a little bit like a shark. As all of these heads require, you need to be a traveler in order to, to use these. All the helmets required that you be an anomaly, but all of the unhelmet, unhelmeted heads from the anomaly require a traveler uh, race. So, I've only bought a few heads on this save, and so if I had all six of them, I would be up to like head number 15 or something like that. But here is what Eos looks like. Oh look, we have face shapes back. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay. This looks like, well, I will call this the default since it's number one. And if we switch to number two, oh, interesting, that gives us teeth. I wonder if you can change the colors of those teeth. Oh, they match the colors, their max match their set with the accent color and match the metal that is in the nose ring and other and the other uh, accoutrement this head has. Interesting. Okay, so let's go to face shape three. That gives us a flatter face. Then two. And a little bit narrower. Four is even a taller uh, head. Looks like two is pretty short and flat. Oh, nope, sorry. Three is the smallest, short, flat, and thin. Four is the tallest, and five is tall but skinny. Also, the post-ear flanges look like they stick out a little bit further. Nope, that's incorrect. Okay, so the face shapes are just uh, variations on how tall and how f wide they are. Okay, so let's go into markings. Marking zero, the top of the head has some spots and looks, unsurprisingly, a bit like a shark. Let's go into markings one. That changed the throat and the top of the head to stripes. Let's see, primary color, orange, secondary color, In these markings, the secondary color sets the stripes on the top of the head and the eyes. Okay, so markings three. Markings three, it looks like it has the dots on the head and the throat again, but it's very different color than the face itself. Huh. Let's see. Okay, let's set the primary colors orange. The secondary color is blue, and the accent color is green. Okay, on markings three, we see very little of, of, of the orange. Is that inside the earpiece? Let's change it to pink. I guess it affects the face color a little bit, but not too much. This is on, on, on markings three. Let's go back to markings two. Primary color is most of the head. Secondary color is the stripes. And accent color is the metal. Marking zero. Primary color is the head. And accent color is the metal. I'm gonna go back to face teeth. I'm gonna go back to having teeth. Yeah, the primary color just kind of gives a vague tint to the white around the face, I think. It's a, hard to, it's a little bit hard to determine. It's not nearly as bright as, as it has been on, on other faces. And the secondary color, as always, is the eyes. Um, on markings too, it's the top of the head and the throat.
and again on markings too, that means the accent color changes the color of the metal. But on markings one, it looks like accent color is always the metal. Secondary color is eyes as usual, as well as stripes on mark two, markings two, and then on marking zero, you just have the main head color and the metal color. I suspect eyes are the same as normal, with zero being the black orbs, one being a f wow. Let's just change all these colors to black, and so this is easier to see. Is the head's left eye always broken? Because that's a normal eye. Let me see if that changes in markings. No, this head's left eye is always false. How interesting. Okay, so eye two is a horizontal pupil, as always. I3, oops, check, is the Android one with a horizontal line through it. I'm sorry, a, a, a horizontal line through the iris and with a darker color on top and a lighter color on the bottom. I4 is a, is a vertical pupil and I5 is, is the, uh, the bug eye. I have never, I don't think we've had a head with an artificial eye before. I'm really interested with that. And also look, uh, after a little while, the ear flanges twitch. Kind of like the lips do on a viking and the throat does on one of the other heads th that we were looking at. So let's go look at this character here on the station. I th can't remember where they are. I think they're one of the vendors. And see what No Man's Sky or what Hello Games has them set as. This is used on the multi-tool vendor. They look like they have their metal set as an orange or a gold with an orange eye. And yes, they have an artificial eye on, on the left side. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's see what the back of, uh, of the head looks like. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that. Ugh. camera when you're using it on the anomaly is just very very touchy so I'm sure I'm making people uh, motion sick <laughs> I, I apologize for that but interesting I'm really kind of fascinated by that artificial eye get a good close-up of it no maybe That's as good as I'm gonna get. Interesting. Anyway, so that is a walkthrough of the iteration, iteration EOS head. Um, so you can use this to decide if you want to quicksilver. I keep on saying nanites there, but you're spending your your quicksilver on these. So, um, I hope you find this useful. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. I think I hit 30 subscribers at some point in the last week or two. I never thought I'd hit even 10. So, thank you all very much, and have a great day.